I have to tell you guys, I am absolutely sickened by everything that is going on in the world. We are still being discriminated against. We are still being killed. We are still being persecuted just for being the color of skin who we are. I'm a mixed individual. I'm black and white. But to all of my fallen black brothers and sisters, to all of my living black brothers and sisters, it's a damn shame that we have to live in fear for the color of our skin. Should we be, should we be unproud of who we are, how we live? Should we be shameful of how far we've come and what our ancestors have fought for? Should we really have regrets on not having a choice? on even being the skin color we are and just making the best of our lives to be the best people we can be and better this world so that instead of there being racism, there could actually be equality. There could actually be equal and fair treatment. There could actually be world peace. There could actually be love. I am disgusted by everything that has happened with George Floyd. That is the worst, one of the worst ways to die. That was disgraceful how they embarrassed that man. They completely murdered him they didn't care about how they were making his last day on earth they didn't care about how his family would have to deal with the loss of him they didn't care about our black community and how little they have respect and value for our lives and that cop i can't get over how he looked so empowered when he had his knee on his neck that was disgusting I hope that motherfucker rots. I hope that motherfucker gets shanked and killed in jail. I hope that he is a bloody mess and nobody gets to him in time. He killed a husband. He killed a father. He killed a black American male who was just living his life and off of what? A prank call about a counterfeit $20 bill? This is what gets me with cops. <laughs> they take an oath to protect and to serve us. But then when they get the badge and they're in the uniform, they're not protecting us. They're protecting their jobs. They're not serving us. They're serving themselves with how they can abuse the power of their jobs. Free this, free that, drive around all day, arrest people for nothing, and just be literally, legally get to be racist. They get to legally impose their racism because they're in the uniform and they're wearing the badge under the oath of, I'm here to protect and serve, but really, oh, you're not white? There must be a problem and you must be the cause. What are you doing? I'm sick and tired of this, from being arrested myself for no reason, illegally arrested with no warrant, no cause, nothing, for being racially persecuted, for never actually having an outcome of me calling a cop for help, working in my favor and the cop trying to turn it around saying I was the problem, to now constantly hearing about all the people in our community being targeted and killed and shot and persecuted, all because of the color of our skin. The most ignorant thing you could ever judge somebody on is something they had no control over. No one chooses their race. No one chooses their gender. No one chooses their family. No one chooses their financial status, how they come in the world. Nobody gets to choose how they come into this world. The only thing we get to choose is who we want to be after we're here and after we learn right from wrong. You cannot continue to be racist off of just the idea, oh, my family was racist. Oh, that's all I know. No. You have an obligation to become a better person. You have an obligation to use your mind, think with your brain and not with your ass. You have an obligation to use your heart and be a human being. If you want to judge somebody, just like my brother Martin Luther King Jr. said, judge me by the content of my character. Do you know what that means? That means get to know me, stop obsessing over how I look, and focus on how I act, what I say, how I live. And really and truly, no one can judge me. No one can judge any of us because only God made us. But for people to continue to be racist just because that was an old family trait passed down, that's just retarded and I'm not taking it. I'm not accepting it and none of us should. You got a problem with the person? You better have an actual problem. But don't manifest bullshit and make it seem like you've got a justifiable cause to spread hate. That man should be alive today. And it's because of those cops why he's not. And those same kids that called the prank call about that $20 bill, 
I hope they get their asses beat, if not killed. I hope they get their asses fined. I hope their place gets burned down, if not completely shut down. Their call reached out to racist cops. And it was diverse cops, too. An Asian cop, a black cop, and two white cops. It wasn't even all white. That's what's shameful. That is what's shameful. It's like there were minority people there as cops, and they didn't even have enough decency in their heart after they just joined the force and they took the oath. It didn't matter to do the right thing. It didn't matter. He couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. It didn't matter. It just mattered. Oh, I feel tough. I feel powerful. You know, that's the thing I notice about cops. It's not about protecting and serving us. It's about helping themselves, taking advantage of the badge, and instead of taking that oath to be there for us, nah. They want to use it as an excuse to say, I am the law. It isn't I uphold the law. It isn't I protect the law. It isn't I serve the law. It becomes I am the law. And to them, that means when I'm in the suit, when I'm wearing the badge, I can say whatever, do whatever to whoever. And because I'm a cop abusing the power, abusing the oath that I took for the people of this country, I could get away with it. I'm disgusted by the cops these days. And you know, there are a lot of good cops and I feel bad that they don't get the credit they deserve because there's just never enough of them and we don't hear about them. But for all these bad cops, the police investigation needs to not only start with these four cops, but it needs to continue throughout all the cops in all states. You need to make sure and we the people need to be sure that the people in these uniforms are out to protect us and serve us. That they're going to actually do their jobs. Not that they're waiting for the next opportunity to feel above somebody and be superior and flex that superiority and cost someone their life or change it drastically for the worst measures. Stand up, America. And the government needs to take a stand too. How easy is it to become a cop these days that you could just have more than a few bad apples? Huh? Whatever happened to that psych evaluation? Whatever happened to the physical fitness? Whatever happened to the age requirement? Huh? Y'all need to vet your police officers. Stop handing over the badge and the uniform because, oh, I know Jimmy's family. Oh, I know Barbara's mother. It doesn't matter. You're not employing their family. You're employing them. You need to know that person you're putting in the uniform. You need to know that person you're giving the badge to. Because all of our people who are ending up dead is your fault for giving them that power. Because they were never supposed to be in a position of that power if they're going to feel like somebody's life is in their hands. If they're going to feel like it's up to them if somebody gets to make it home. Enough of us have been murdered. Enough of us have been persecuted. Enough of us have been illegally arrested, illegally searched and seized, racially profiled. Enough is enough. We're not taking it anymore. Black Lives Matter. We stand for that. And if you don't love us, if you're going to hate us, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a war you can't win. This whole country was founded, birth and born, on the backs of minorities, and especially my black brothers and sisters, my ancestors. And ain't nobody in a position of power just because they white and feel all right going to try to change the course of history because of their family hatred. Fuck that shit. I have literally lost sleep. I have literally woken up in my sleep and taken hours to go back to sleep because I feel like every time I close my eyes and I'm going to bed, I can hear George Floyd screaming. I can hear him saying, I can't breathe. I can hear him calling for his mother. I can hear him begging for his life. I can hear another minority in a position of weakness that they were never supposed to be put in. Why? Because we have every right to live. We have every right to be free. We have every right just like you white Americans. And I know it's not all of y'all, but it's too many racism going on. Too much racism going on, and it needs to stop. We need to kill racism, kill hate, kill all of it. Just like it was COVID itself. Kill COVID, kill hate, kill racism. This is the only way we're going to have a shot at world peace is we all need to come together. We all need to love each other. We all need to realize our similarities. We all need to embrace humanity. How in the hell you're not going to be the parent of somebody or, you know, God himself. You don't give people life. You don't make people how they are. You can't change people. Why don't you work on yourself? Change yourself. But stop trying to make the world your own personal puzzle. And every person in here, a pawn on a chessboard for you to just play with. 
everyone who's alive has a right to be alive. Doesn't matter your age, your race, none of that. Human is human. Love is love.